The Acid Hole, an LSD and ketamine trip report, posted to the LSD subreddit by the user C Slicker over three years ago. Some background info on the trip. My brother, his girlfriend and myself rented a motel to trip in at the beach this past weekend. My brother was candy flipping for the first time. He had 100 micrograms of LSD and 100 milligrams of MDMA. His girlfriend was trying shrooms for the first time, around 2 grams, and I planned on K-holing for the first time on day one, and then tripping on a tab the following morning. As I planned, I K-holed the night of our arrival. It was a bizarre experience to say the least, but it did not hold a candle to the insanity of the following day. As the title suggests, I decided to try some kitty while peeking on acid, and let me tell you, it was absolutely bananas. The experience. All of our trips started out fairly normal. We were just chilling in the hotel room having a nice come up and enjoying the ride. I had the normal patterning and melting open eye visuals that acid usually gives me, and the same light fractal closed eye visuals that 100 micrograms never fails to provide. At the three hour mark, I decided that I would do some more ketamine to see how it reacted with the acid. I knew the combo was safe, but I'd actually heard very few reports of it online. Since I was tripping out, it was really hard to measure out my dosage or make lines, so I ended up just spilling some K on the table and insufflating it. If I were to guess, I'd say it was about 200 milligrams or so, but I honestly cannot be sure. Anyway, I barely felt the powder into my nose, but the taste of the ketamine was instantly overwhelming. Very quickly, I began to slip away, which started out with me feeling as though I were moving backwards at high speeds on an old locomotive. The crazy part here is that when I closed my eyes and was immersed in the K-hole, I could see the hotel room that I was in. I was gliding on what appeared to be a roller coaster track that was attached to a fractal web of geometry. From there, the closed eye visuals just exploded into what I can only describe as spiritual visions. I saw these unfurling fractal machines with yin and yang symbols, hundreds of eyes, tongues with rainbow LSD tabs on them, and lots and lots of people fucking. It was almost disturbing how much fucking was going on in this other dimension that was encased within my mind. At one point, the fractal world cleared, and I saw an enormous temple made out of two stone statues of people fucking. Or was it four? It was a strange perspective of illusion, where the sex positions were different from a bird's eye view than they were from the ground level, and this was all occurring at the centre of a lake. The temple looked somewhat like this crude sketch that I made, only there was an opening where the female's womb was supposed to be and a meditating Buddha in the lotus position that was looking into the shrine inside. As I started to swing out of the K-hole, I saw more people having sex and women giving birth. Then, for a lack of a better term, I was atomized, and I saw the layers of my own existence. At a surface level, I was a person, but zooming in, I became an organ system, then the organs themselves, the molecules, cells, atoms, subatomic particles, and eventually, even empty space. I ascended back up the ladder and passed my human form, zooming out this time into the planet, the solar system, the galaxy, the universe, and eventually, beyond that, into the fractal cosm. Finally, I returned to my human form, and the ketamine wore off. The remainder of the trip was pretty awesome, but nothing out of the realm of typical LSD. Well, anyhow, that was my crazy experience of K and acid. I hope you enjoyed it. I've wanted to feature an LSD and ketamine report on this channel for ages now because I think it is one of the most spiritually profound combinations you can do. And even if you're not in it for the spirituality, the uh, 
the profound levels of like out of body experience and sort of the video game scenarios that you wind up in that your imagination just runs wild on there the combination between these two extremely uh, potent consciousness altering psychoactive substances that i don't advocate the use of let me just tell you right now son but um anybody who's ever experimented um or has read reports of this or knows anyone else who has done stuff like this can tell you that it is one of the most sort of most visionary experiences you can have uh, personally i've not done this because um i only take calpol for a living and don't use any of these ridiculous substances but if i had done it i could tell you that basically the outer body experiences are actually unbelievable um on another level almost to the level of say salvia level um visionary type experiences that you can have where you basically literally transport it to another world dimension whatever you want to call it something completely outside of the normal physical material human realm the earth the earth experience of consciousness if you want to call it physical reality it's completely uh thrown out the window um and there's often it's often accompanied just beforehand by say literally sort of reality melting or like the the foundations of reality are falling apart either visually like your whole, the whole room falls apart and melts away which can happen on lsd itself but with the with the spaghetti mine um added into the mixture that can be a very common thing to experience because even though that's already possible on sort of like deep lsd trips where you sort of yeah, piercing the veil uh, dissolving the ego um, and just like breaking down the mind itself uh, becoming one of your surroundings because I think we're getting to that point on the channel where a lot of us can agree um, again don't know if it's true but it definitely seems like it's the case that you are reality itself consciousness is reality consciousness is itself it's Ouroboros it's the snake eating its own tail it's non-duality it's what, however you want to describe it it's infinity which the implications of infinity means it is itself it creates itself you create your environment the physicality of everything is literally just an extent an extension of your consciousness it's just that to be an ego you can't identify with being um a fucking mouse map that i'm touching right now yeah you have to create that distinction for it to exist it's pretty wacky stuff uh, and obviously it sounds like a lot of psycho babble but um a lot of these trip reports and my own direct experiences point towards this being say the truth for me Maybe my truth's different. Maybe everyone's truth's different. Um, if you've got to bear that in mind. I, I like to be as open as possible with this stuff and don't want to claim it as fact or anything, but definitely seems like we're going towards that sort of uh, revelation. Uh, I am personally with my, my own life. And um, one thing that really shatters the whole materialist paradigm is, say, yeah, uh, a deep ketamine experience and mix with LSD when you're having these literal out-of-body type visionary quests a bit like on salvia where there is no human reality any reality anymore and you go into these like mad completely impossible states of consciousness like feeling what it's like to be a strand of hair and feeling that and being that for an eternity or extended amount of time and um, this is very much uh, capable for you to experience or oh, well you know, obviously you shouldn't be experiencing it because it's completely illegal uh, but it's definitely possible for that to happen and i remember one time um, a few years ago when I had probably one of my first sort of like outer body experiences I was able to sort of look and see into my own mind in a sense or my own brain or uh, imagine what it was like being in my own head um, going through all these like neuron neuronic pathways neuronal pathways and it felt like I was like gliding through digital circuitry and following these these pathways down to reveal memories uh, from the past, repressed emotions, things that are suppressing the shadow aspects of the psyche that I wasn't um, processing. And that's why I say this mixture can be e extremely effective and could be really valuable in um, therapeutic scenarios. Although I'd say f for anyone who decides to do some personal experimentation, that this should be reserved for extremely experienced psychonauts. Cause one thing that people forget about sort of uh, the spaghetti mine experience is that even though it's a rad like a radically uh, used drug, say in the UK where it's used recreationally in, uh, in parties and raves and, and just generally one of the most popular substances to consume amongst young people i think people forget just how deep this rabbit hole go, goes with um 
Because what is happening with ketamine is turning off parts of your brain where it's to the point where like your brain cannot even like, f- not only like in, in just a, a moderate to moderate dose of spagamine, you won't be able to function linguistically, typing on your phone, making out words, uh, e- e- even being able to make sense of what other people are saying. If you're watching TV or a film, oftentimes it literally just becomes gobbledygook and music, nothing makes sense. So then if you keep going deeper and keep taking more, what's going to happen is that's going to extrapolate outwards to like the whole of your visual field is not going to make sense and your brain won't be able to make sense of reality and this can cause a disconnect uh, between your consciousness and what you're experiencing and can be uh, not so much traumatizing, but definitely worrying that you're never going to make it out. This have so many times where... I've had an out-of-body experience and I've thought, oh, this is it. I've done it now. I've broken reality and there's no getting out of it. Obviously, we always come back because otherwise we wouldn't be making this fucking video can. But yeah, when you're in that sort of zone, it's really hard to convince yourself that things aren't going to be like that forever. So again, just a word of warning for anyone who wishes to uh, to indulge in this extremely profound combination of substances. Uh, and that you should always take the proper safety precautions. And to be honest, I wouldn't advise taking as much as this person did, say 200 milligrams of spaghetti. And um, I mean, he only took 100 micrograms of, uh, of LSD, but the, po- the, the way they potentiate each other makes it even more intense. So yeah, remember, I say it all the time, but slow and steady wins the race. Um, there's no need to jump into the deep end, especially if you want to do this work for, say, your whole life, this consciousness work, spiritual game, whatever you want to call it personal development um just take your time and uh be as mindful and conscious with it as possible and don't don't overestimate yourself because a lot of people think oh i can handle this and this is just sort of the ego talking um and oftentimes even though i guess you do jump jump in the deep and it can be very terrifying traumatic blah 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 uh, and then you can sort of come around from it in the end and turn to something positive that isn't always the case. We have to acknowledge that some people do these things and they never make it out. They, ne- they never make it out of the sort of HPPD that, um, or the schizophrenic tendencies that they were imbued with after, say, having a, I don't know, a terrible experience on psychedelics or cannabis. Obviously, it's very rare, but you just have to keep it in mind and be as safe as possible. And I cannot encourage you enough to do so because... I do get a, a lot of messages where people say, oh, I've just literally taken fucking like 900 million grams of mushies. Obviously, I'm exaggerating, but like ridiculous amounts of people say, on oh, my first time, and now I feel like I need to go to a psych ward and, and ask me like, what could I have done to prevent it? And I'm like, mate, are you mad? The fact that you took 15 grams of mushies for your first time ever experiencing an altered state, you're just playing with fire and uh, you're going to have the sort of the negative repercussions of the death my astonishment stuff that uh terence mckenna likes to talk about where your mind simply isn't ready to grasp um the the totality of what consciousness is and what it's capable of experiencing things completely out outside of this physical bubble that we are currently occupying so yep yeah, really cool report might have to do some, I think the ketamine combos are really interesting because I, I, I personally just really love it. I, I've, I've sort of done the God consciousness source, non-duality stuff to death. Now I'm really more interested in the, at the minute, um, at talking about the, yeah, the wacky sort of visual space, the visual, the wacky visual spaces that these substances can put you in where you're almost in like a, a video game of your own consciousness and you can sort of create your own reality and you're flying through these fucking geometrical cities and stuff and they're getting like in this report seeing people like having a fucking super orgy in front of your very eyes like literally imagine seeing that it's, it's, it's insane it'll even if there's not some massive insight to be taken away from that like the say the god consciousness ones uh, the realization of infinite love and that there's still massively impactful experiences and can can completely change your perception of reality in the the materialist um, paradigm. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.